Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Come to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who created us. A God who loves us. A God who calls us back to himself just as we are and then works to transform our lives. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement comes from Matthew 18, beginning at verse 1. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the little child and had him stand among them. And he said, I tell you the truth, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself like his child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. What do those words mean to you? You know, we live in a society, we live in a time when, when people think and ask, what can I bring to the table? You know, you're looking for a job, or you're looking for this, or that. People want to know how much money you have. People want to know what talents you have, what skills you have. Uh, there's always about what are you bringing with you. And yet, the kingdom of heaven is completely opposite, as it often is with the world. In the kingdom of heaven, it's not about what you bring with you. It's about setting those things aside and simply offering ourselves up to God as children. So what's significant about a child? Well, oftentimes, a child, uh, especially a young child, is humble. Uh, they're, they're meek. Uh, they're, they're wanting to learn. Um, they're, you know, just can pull themselves into it without fear. Um, there's so many qualities of the innocence that comes with a child uh, that God is looking for. I was speaking with someone uh, yesterday afternoon uh, about my previous job before as a pastor and, and, and kind of construction work. And, uh, and I shared that oftentimes I would much rather have uh, someone come in who uh, didn't know anything but had a work ethic and, and wanted to work hard that I could train rather than someone who came in who seemed to know it all because uh, it was just harder to work with them. It was harder to take the person who knew everything and, and ask them to do things the way I needed them done. Um, not that their own ideas were bad and sometimes people had great ideas uh, and there were some great workers, don't get me wrong, but oftentimes when it came to new people, I would simply prefer someone who came in excited about the job, excited to learn, uh, ready to learn. I think that's kind of what's going on here is that, you know, Jesus is saying, hey, we need to come with that type of mentality. We need to come with the mentality of, of a child. We need to, to look and say, hey, what does it mean? Well, it simply means, hey, that I want to come to God and I want to find out about him. I want to get excited about him. You know, when we become Christians, uh, we became a new creation in Christ. We become uh, babes in Christ, if you will. It's the babies and then, you know, we need to take in milk and, and and our the spiritual learnings that we're doing are are, are not you know they're, they're not heavy they're 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 stuff that we can take in and, and that's the way it should be we want to come to god and and just simply follow his lead you know as children oftentimes if we have a good dad uh, i certainly did we simply follow what they tell us to do we trust that what they're telling is best folks with god we can do the same thing we can trust that his way is best, that he has a plan, that he will never leave us nor forsake us, and he will carry us through each step of the way. Praise God for that. I want to encourage you today, whatever you have to do, put it in God's hands. Just tell God, here I am. Let's do it your way, your timing, your your way, your passion. I want to do it your way, and God will bless you for it. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity we have to come to you as children, to not have to have all this knowledge or all this background or all this experience, but simply to be able to come and say, here we are. Father, thank you for taking us how we are and for transforming our lives after it, not making us fix ourselves first because we just can't. Father, today we just pray that you would give us opportunity to witness and to love other people. Open the door that we might share your, our faith with someone. Open the door that we might love on someone exactly where they're at and that they might feel your love. Father, thank you for the opportunities we have to serve you today. Thank you for being in charge of our lives. May we hear your voice clearly, clearly and loudly and may it bring you praise. Father, please bless those today who need a special blessing, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, whatever the case could be. Would you bless them according to your plans as we trust you will, and may it bring you glory. Father, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There you have it. God loves you. You don't have to fix yourself. Let's just go before God today and humble ourselves as children and see what God does with our lives. Have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.